Hey Brian, why don't you tell us about your experience with Killzone? Yeah, Killzone was great. It, it's what opened the door uh, for my kind of this end of my gaming. I, before that, I would, you know, just kind of played and read all the magazines or whatever, and kind of dreamed about someday being on the other side of it and actually participating in building my own game or, or being involved in some capacity with that. And uh, Killzone was my first opportunity to to do that, to, to start with, um, well, basically started with me taking photographs of my models. Uh, then I got asked to do some editing work, and from the editing work, just fixing grammar, and to actually thinking about rewriting some rules, and um, one thing just quickly went to the next, and um, it, it snowballed, and it was really amazing how, A, how quickly it happened um, from being just a guy that has a blog to being a guy that's helping write rule sets and things like that. And, um, it was great. I, I can't imagine being back on the other side. <laughs> so what uh, do you think is the most important thing you learned from that experience, going into a game like with Hyacinth Games and Wreckage? Um, <clears throat> oh, that's a good question. The most important thing I probably learned from my experience with Killzone is just, uh, I think probably how much work is actually involved in things that look very, very easy. Uh, and and actually probably just what it takes, I think for me anyway, I, I learned what it takes to actually complete something. It's, it's very easy to start projects, it's very easy to have an idea, it's very easy to have good and bad ideas. It, it's very, very hard to uh, get those ideas into a format that is, relatively polished and I think that was for me the, the, the kill zone was the thing that my first attempt to really do something that looked professional um, and, and how much work it takes to get there was probably the thing that was the, the steepest part of the learning curve for me.